and we have uh, some data coming in now. Everything continues to look good. Passing through 1,700 seconds. And we expect to be coming out of our PTC roll in 20 seconds. Passing through 30 minutes into the mission. At this time, we're experiencing a loss of data. When we have had data, everything is looking as expected. No reason to believe there's a problem on board the vehicle. And we're coming up on two minutes from MES-2. And we're about one minute out now from acquisition of signal through the Heart of Beastock tracking station in South Africa. And we're now one minute to MES. Uh, this time we're experiencing a data loss. We should be starting our pre mass sequence with pressurizing the propellant tanks in preparation for the burn followed by pre-start flow to the engine. At this point in time, we should have LH2 pre-start. Uh, cannot confirm without uh, telemetry. Anomaly, we should have LO2 pre-start. And trickle chill. And we do have a confirmation of pre start from one of our supporting stations. We have MES-2 confirmed from a remote station. We are seeing good pressures during the burn. This is nearly an eight minute second burn of Centaur. We do have uh, some data coming in now. 
taking a look at levels. We are seeing good uh, steady state operating levels for Centaur main engine. RCS thruster activity looks good. Operating parameters are right as expected. Data quality is uh, marginal, but levels can be determined. EU is in control and actively controlling mixture ratio to the engine. We are seeing some changes in engine pressure levels to changes in mixture ratio as expected. inside of three minutes to Miko. Correction. We are outside of uh, five minutes to Miko. Burn continues as expected. Good operating pressure levels on Centaur. PU is now controlling near nominal mixture ratio. We're continuing to see the expected thruster firings thermally control the reaction control system. And we are now seeing nice clean telemetry data. Engine continues to burn normally. We are seeing expected hydrazine burn off activity for second burn. In uh, four minutes to a nominal MECO-2. and the engine continues to burn normally. Everything looking good. Three minutes to Miko 2. RPU is continuing to control. Engine operating pressures look good. Our, our next tracking station to acquire will be Diego Garcia in the Indian Ocean. Smooth. Accelerating at a steady 0.95 Gs.
two minutes. D'Amico, two. Everything continues to look good. Up about three and a half minutes from the time the Centaur cuts off until Mars Science Laboratory separates from the Centaur upper stage. At that time, it'll be at an altitude of 105 nautical miles. It operates smoothly at 100% thrust. Coming up on one minute to make go two. This is the control room in the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center where engineers are intently watching the yeah. data come back from the rocket. Miko 2, shutdown signature looks good, 4S engines are on. And we, re we are beginning to reorient to our separation attitude, fuel tank is venting down. from Diego Garcia. Body rates are smoothing out as we approach that attitude. This is a uh, live camera from the Centaur stage looking at the spacecraft for spacecraft separation coming through the Diego Garcia tracking station in the Indian Ocean. 50% settling as expected. Body rates are nice and smooth. Two minutes now from spacecraft separation. Everything looking good, getting ready for spacecraft. Up. Once again, this is a live camera on the Centaur. Looking toward the spacecraft. Approximately 10 seconds. Body rates look good. And we passed tumble check. We started settling. And we've begun to spin up for spacecraft separation. One minute. One minute to spacecraft separation. Expecting 15 degrees per second in roll. It's 
spin-up continues nominally, everything looking good. Thirty seconds to say scratch up. Spin up continues. Five seconds, spacecraft set. Achieved our targeted roll rate. We have spacecraft separation. And confirmation from our video system. And the vehicle has despun. And with the successful separation of the MSL spacecraft from AV-28, this concludes the commentary for this mission. And we have lots of uh, handshakes and smiling faces here in the control room because Mars Science Laboratory is on its way to Mars. And uh, the Centaur stage, as uh, we learned uh, earlier from Vern Thorpe, will be going uh, on a planetary trajectory as well, but it will go into an orbit around the Sun. So right now we are collecting some uh, telemetry data for the uh, duration of the flight to give us a look at some key indicators as to how everything performed. And we will have our launch director come over very shortly and give us a uh, give us some uh, discussion about how the countdown and how the flight has gone. Spacecraft separation right on time. That occurred at 44 minutes, 6 seconds after launch.